hello amazing people welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back if you're not new and if you're new please make sure to hit the subscribe button as you can see here i am showing you the rhino shield lens and the lens adapter um today i'll be reviewing both of that and the boya m1 microphone so let's get to it here you can see the bag where i had put inside the lens and the lens adapter um it is one tiny piece and it's a two-in-one lens as you can see it's a wide angle lens and also a macro lens so it's really cool that it's a two-in-one so i just uncover so as to show you how the lens looks like that's how it looks then to access the macro lens you have to unscrew the wide angle lens from it so that's what i am doing here that is the macro lens now on your left and on your right it's a wide angle lens so i screw it back screw 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 <laughs> and make sure it fits tightly well so it doesn't fall off put back the cover onto the lens then you can see at the back there is also a cover that's where you'll connect the lens to the phone so i put them back into the bag i made a mistake of not purchasing also the phone case when i was purchasing this product you actually have to purchase the lens the adapter and the phone case but after checking the price i was just like no i'll get creative so i decided to stick my phone adapter onto my own phone lens as you can see here and yeah that's pretty much what i did but make sure when you're purchasing it to purchase all the three okay here we have the boya m1 microphone that was a silicon and the warranty and to your left is just the box that it came in i like the cover the packaging it came in and also the bag the nice leather look inside you'll find quite a few accessories which i like i'm glad it came with all this because it's quite helpful here you can see the mic itself so we'll start going through all the accessories um here starting with the battery that you're going to see right there yes then i think this is a an adapter inside there and a windshield that is the dead cut i have no idea why they use that name dead cut but i guess it looks like a cut steel i don't know that is the lavalier mic itself the boya m1 as you can see it's quite long so which is good i like that it's quite long so we are going to start um and wrapping them getting them out of the of the wrapper they came in a lot of plastic wrapping so i open and inside we shall find first is the windshield which i had to now put onto the mic itself it took me quite a while to put it because it was quite tiny so it it took a while to just put it into place so i put slowly by slowly continue pushing and pulling until it actually entered and fit quite well yes as you can see i'm pulling cells to put it into place and that's pretty much it now it looks like it's in place quite good quite well yes so we continue as you can see that's the main part of the microphone you can see the switch there i turned it so fast but i hope you saw so you have to unscrew it there it will reveal where the area where you have to insert the battery i'm really happy that this item actually came with a battery because most items never come with their own battery and you have to actually purchase the battery separately so it's really nice of them to have actually as a start put for you one battery So we open the battery, we remove it from its wrapping. It's quite a tiny thing, so it's easy for you to get lost. You need to be really careful. Check which is the right way to insert it, the positive and the negative side of the battery. Then you have to push it in with all your strength, otherwise it's a bit hard. So after a few attempts, I finally, um, there you go, finally managed to put it in. Then I screw back the thing the part of the microphone make sure it's screwed well and tightly and there we have it our lavalier mic next we see what is inside as we can see there is a clip and also the adapter i think it's the adapter to connect to speakers if i'm not wrong so i i unscrewed the cable because they're all folded up just to see how it is 
then that is the dead cut as we had seen before put it in the case because i don't need it now the clip and the adapter as well just to check if it actually inserts well which it does pop there you go i also put that in the bag because i didn't need it at this time then we get to the clip which we also came in its own wrapping so yeah that's how it looks like we have to put it in place i don't know why at first i thought it would be the wire which i think is quite obvious that it is not so voila i discovered put it quite up there right under the windshield this also took me a while to put it yeah these things were quite tiny so it was quite hard to just like put everything in place I struggled for quite some time here, quite a few attempts here and there. Thinking, oh god, why? Getting irritated. <laughs> yeah, and anyway, I continued trying because we don't give up in this life and voila, there you go, it finally fits. And we have it. Our beautiful, lovely mic. Good job. Hi guys, so if you've made it this far, I'm sure you've watched the Rhino Shield lens review and the Boya M1 review. I just wanted to show you how it all looks when it's all put together. This is currently what I use to shoot for my videos. Yeah, so here we have the lens. I can remove the lens cover so you can see. And here hanging is the Boya M1 mic. I know it looks quite untidy. As you can see, it's really folded, so it's quite long. You can use it for like a long distance if you're far from your camera. And then this ring light, I bought it from Ali. Express. I just have to put it on. There you go. So once you have it on, it's it's a pretty basic studio setup, but it's quite enough for YouTube as a beginner. So I just advise if you're a beginner and you want to start, this is all you need. I mean, you don't even need the lens. It's it's just an additional. So if you have a phone that can record videos and you have good quality sound, you can start from there. Then as you go, you'll now save up for more equipment and yeah improve your equipment stash i guess <laughs> so yeah that's all i wanted to show you guys i hope this helps and i hope if you're thinking of starting just start it's scary but it's better to start than always think of oh what if what would have happened if i started so yeah all the best if you decide to start and do have a great week and see you next week bye